Hi everyone, it's Fiele and I'm here with a new oh, project challenge thingy. I call it the um, monthly inspirational mini canvas uh, mixed media project and I will be doing this um, every first week of the month. Um, okay, now it's not the first week of the month, but it's January and um, you know after the holidays we all usually have some busy weeks, um, you know, go to people, see st see people, do things. So that's why I'm a little bit late, I'm sorry. But um, that doesn't mean I cannot still create something because it's still January. Um, I bought these little canvas thingies with the holders. Don't know what they are called, but um, I bought them and they come in a pack of two. And I bought them in a local shop here. Um, very handy and it's fun if you just want to um, create you know something you don't have a lot of time but you do want to do something so that you know gives you um, the opportunity to do at least something um, I might be doing a little where is it ah, here. Um, I might be doing a bigger one at some point if I have a lot of inspiration um, but maybe I won't I don't know um, but this is the idea, and um, so every first week of the month, tune in, and then um, you can see what I create. Um, it will be about uh, things that have to do with that month. So for now, like January, it's the first month of the year, and everyone has those resolutions or, you know, things that they are going to try or goals or a bucket list, whatever. Um, I'm going to do something related to new beginnings. Um, there will be a butterfly on it for sure. Um, yeah, I have I have some new products also that I want to use, and you know this is a fun way to do uh, to do that, just to get a bit messy but not too much. So yeah, let's see what I come up with. And um, I have some stuff laying here already. Some things that I maybe want to use, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I have this. Here's the butterfly that I want to use. It's getting a bit dark. I hope it's not too dark because it's going to rain and it's really dark. But I'll try to fix that. So, you know, this is just a bit of stuff that I'm going to try and, and, and use. I have some waxes from Finnebar Art Alchemy Opal Magic waxes. And this is turquoise satin. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use some gold, I think. So let's see. Let's see what I make. And um, if, you, um, if you want to join this challenge, then just every month make something and link it in the link. If you make a video, link it to, the, uh, to my video, you know, in the comments. Or just um, on Facebook. You know, would be would be fun to see what you create. So, um, yeah, let's start. So here I'm just going to create a little bit of texture for the background. I'm using tissue paper that I uh, stamped, uh, I think, one or two years ago for a different project, and I just had a little piece left. So I'm just going to um, use this uh, to create the texture. I'm um, using gel medium matte to glue it down and I just glue it down randomly creating some um, wrinkles and um, some bumps and things just to make it a bit interesting. I also cover the sides of the canvas because I'm going to paint them too. It's always nice if you have stuff laying around, like small pieces that you can use, um, just to make a small, a fast project like this. Um, you know, you don't need to buy stuff or whatever. Just use what you have. It's a good way to get rid of some small leftovers. So I'm just giving it a quick dry with my heat tool, because it needs to be dry before I paint. And it's still a bit dark. Aha, uh -huh, there it goes. The light is here. I'm covering the um, the tissue paper with black gesso, making sure I get every uh, every part of it and the sides, of course. And 
Okay, yes, if I get messy. I always get messy when I create. <laughs> yeah, but it's a part of it. And of course, then I have to dry with the heat gun. And now it's time to try out the embellishments that I want to use and where I want them to be. The clock is one of the molds from Prima. Um, I used paper clay and um, the clock is not very flat and I was thinking, oh my god, this is not going to glue down. It did glue down and actually it turned out to be great because uh, on the one side it, it's not touching the canvas so I can slit something underneath which is actually what I wanted. So that was a happy mistake. Um, the embellishments that I'm using are just stuff that I have in my stash. Um, I don't know all the brands. Some are just really cheap you know, from a dollar store or you know one of one of those cheap stores. But here we have one. It's called Action, and they have crafty stuff for not that much. So that's very interesting. And the butterfly I bought from the internet. So. When I'm happy with um, where everything is going, then it's time to glue it down. And I'm using my heat tool, for, uh, my heat, my ah, uh, my hot glue gun <laughs> for this. And some people use their gel medium because um, they are afraid with the glue gun it will fall off uh, in time. I'm not that afraid, you know. And I like it to be um, stuck to the canvas when I'm painting and. and and making it all pretty uh, with the gel medium it takes a while to dry and then either I have to wait or just go on while it's not dry yet and I don't like it so because then it moves around and not my thing so I use the, the glue gun um, now I'm covering everything in the, in the black gesso again and I make sure that the um, that everything is covered because there's a lot of nooks and crannies and you need to make sure everything is covered, otherwise, yeah. It's not bad, you know, but the whole idea, you know, if you see different colors peeking through again, it's not really my thing, but that's a personal thing. So just to get everything covered in the gesso, I'm using a smaller brush too, to get in between all those layers in the flower and underneath some of the pieces. Take some time, so I'm just skipping this, and <laughs> now I'm drying it so that I can start using some other products. And then my camera died, and I used the uh, opal waxes, and I used the turquoise satin, and yeah, the camera died on me, so you don't see me do that. But I applied it with a brush. And that works really well. Uh, you can also use your finger, but with the brush, it's easier to give it a really soft stroke and um, just, you know, put it in the places where you want. Your finger is a bit bigger, so you might just have a big squash of the of the wax on a place, on a place where you don't want it. So I just use the brush. Then I use some Lindy Stam Gang spray, Buccaneer Bronze. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, just to give it some extra uh, interest, you know, some depth in the colors. And then I went in back with the, the turquoise satin. And this is Vintage Silk. Same brand. And it gives a, yeah, a really soft beige goldish color. And it's all shiny, just like the turquoise satin. And that's what I love. Just give it some some depth, not too many colors, just a couple and it creates something pretty, especially with the, all the texture that you have in the background and all the different layers, and it's very pretty. And here I'm just using uh, a golden pen to make some, some drops and some splatter thingies. And then I let this dry and I will do the same with the white pen. And 
and just give it a quick dry because then it's time to put the sentiment on my face. Just some finishing touches. And here are the small talk, small talk stickers of Tim Holtz and I am putting my sentiment. I think this is a very fun project to do if you don't have much time um, but you do want to create something and you can make this as personal as you want. You know, if, if your birthday is in January or another month, you can do something uh, festive or I don't know. If you have a memory, you can use a picture on your on your canvas if you want. You know, the, the options are limitless. They are endless. So it's really fun to do and um, I hope you enjoy. So it's glued down now and there will be some evaluation. Okay, so this is the result. Let me try and show you up close. Um, I know it's getting a bit dark but I will make some daylight pictures and um, um, I will put them in the video. The sentiment says embrace the journey because it's the beginning of the year. The clock is also because I'm starting this challenge, uh, which was an idea that I wanted to do. Um, the butterfly stands for new beginnings because they come out of the cocoon and then they fly away making their journey. So that's kind of the thought behind it. I hope you like it and I will try and link the products that I use below. And. Um, Stay tuned for the pictures and the, of course, the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.